A day after Ambassador Jerry arrived in Uganda in September 2009, Kampala was engulfed in riots that left nearly 40 people dead. The first astonishing experience in 20 years of his diplomatic work. And from that time, the ambassador has been monitoring all aspects of life in Uganda, which include politics, economics, culture, and Uganda's health system. The ambassador noted that within the health sector, drugs continue missing in hospitals, and some of the badly needed supplies are stolen and sold. Mothers continue to die in childbirth. You have lost far more lives due to the failure of your health system than you have to foreign or domestic enemies and it is time to devote the same attention, energy, and seriousness to the health of the Ugandan people as you do to their security and their military. The ambassador noted that whereas America is proud of the commendable job done by the UPDF in Amisom, order has been kept, but there are complaints from the public about aspects of conduct and overall performance of security forces when it comes to domestic security. Some shareholders are very happy and some are not. Some are disappointed, but that will be a continuing copy, uh, uh, topic for discussion and work here in Uganda. The brutality we have seen around, the rampant brutality, has been a one-sided brutality. We shall continue to improve, but it's our humble prayer that our political class in this country must be law-abiding. In economic growth and development where U.S. also invests lots of money, Ambassador Jerry noted that the performance declined during his period, blaming it on poor policies. Of course, the growth has not been extended to all areas of the nation. And it, is, of course, has, has not been all that well distributed. Some individuals have managed to gain much larger shares and wealth far beyond their own investment and contributions. We will miss you very much. Thank you. Sudil Biarhanga. NTV. <laughs>